Have you ever heard the saying that if you're the smartest or wealthiest person in the room, you're in the wrong room? Well, today's video is about is being the smartest or wealthiest person in the room wrong? My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today I'm pumped to share this because I've been working with clients a lot lately around this and I want to share with you a perspective that maybe you need to look at and start to see potentially if it's true or not for you because just because I share it with you doesn't mean that it's perfectly true because who knows I'm just this guy on YouTube sharing some knowledge that I have after coaching thousands of people and doing 17,000 coaching calls with people around the world. I don't know. So, look, I remember when I was in network marketing, I would learn from all these wealthy and successful people. And they said that if you're the wealthiest person in the room, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Well, why do they say that? Why do they share that with people? They share it with people because you always want to be growing. You always want to get smarter. You always want to increase your income. Well, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have a high drive that's a motivator, that's an economic, right? If you're economically motivated, right, that works. But if you're going to go to that next level, you can't learn more than what you already know. So they say if you're the smartest person in the room, you're not going to get more ideas. You're not going to grow your net worth because... Well, we've all heard that saying that, right? You are the average of your five friends, economically at least, right? So if you take all your friends that you spend the most time with and you average out their income, everyone's income, you're usually in the middle of that. So that's why you want to get around people who are more wealthy, more successful than you, smarter than you, think of things differently than you so that you can grow. <clears throat> but are they right? Is that always true? And I remember I was thinking about this the other week and I started thinking about my own life and how I elevated my success and about all the breakthroughs I help clients have in coaching. And I wanted to share with you a different perspective because most people say, if you're the smartest or wealthiest, you're in the wrong room. But I want to give you a different opinion. I see it a little bit differently. And I see it that it's possibly wrong. Here's why. Yes, you do want to be the smartest or you don't want to always be the smartest and wealthiest person because we do want to grow. But if you're always, always the, sm uh, you know, the least wealthiest or not the smartest in the room, what that can tend to do is start to create a gap for us unconsciously it could create a gap. And with that gap, what happens is we start having some thoughts. Will I ever be like them? Will I ever be as smart as them? Will I ever be able to achieve that financial success level? And we start to question ourselves. I've seen it time and time with clients again. And so I like to pose a different view. I believe you don't want to always be. There's times where you need to be the smartest and wealthiest person in the room. Here's why. <clears throat> when you're striving for a goal, and that goal is way out in the future, right? What happens is we need moments because it seems so far away. We need moments that we could stop in the rear view mirror and look behind us and say, oh my God, look how far I've came. Because otherwise that goal of that so far away seems tedious. It seems so long lived. And so you want to start to look at how far have you come because that's inspirational, that's motivating you, that's going to drive you to keep going forward. So if you're constantly the brokest person in the room, and maybe you do have a lot of money, but you're the brokest person and you're not the most intelligent, you might start measuring yourself and your success level based on them. And, they, and who knows, they might be decades down the line or they might have a different vehicle than you and we start to judge ourselves. Instead, I would propose that there's going to be an 80-20 rule that applies. 80% of the time, you want to be the least smartest person. You want to be the least wealthiest person in the room. And that 20%, you do want to be the smartest and wealthiest. Here's why, though. The reason why is because it's like looking in the rearview mirror. You get to see how far you've came. You get to see how much growth that you've created for yourself over that lifetime of your journey. So whether that's five years, five months, five days, whatever it is. You also have this other point is, you, not only do you feel good about how far you've came compared to other people who are not at where you are, 
you also have the opportunity to turn around and give back to people. And I love that. Contribution's huge, right? You get to turn around and say, you know what? I know where you are. I was there last year. Here's what I've done to overcome that. Here's the way you need to think. Here's a strategy, a tool, a connection, a resource for you to elevate yourself. So because why it's important to have that 80-20 role around this situation of being the smartest or wealthiest person in the room is <clears throat> you have to have contrast. If you're always feeling, if you're always feeling joyful, you get numb to joy. You get numb to happiness, right? Like it's, I had a mentor once, he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars and he retired at 40. And so he had the best vehicles, the biggest houses. He did, did the night one shopping all the time. He played golf all the time, had the nicest meals and sat around and did nothing for a while. And while that's amazing, after a while it got boring. He's like, I got to get back in the hunt. I got to get back to doing what I love, building businesses, working with people, networking, helping people succeed. And so we got to have that contrast. Right, because otherwise, you know, 50 Cent said it in one of his songs. He said, joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. Well, you can't always be the least smartest or the least wealthiest in a room. You gotta have that experience where you are the smartest, where you are the wealthiest. So you have that contrast. You know what it feels like to be the smartest and wealthiest, but then you get to go back into the 80% where you're in rooms where you're not the smartest and the wealthiest. And you get to say, okay, I know I'm smart. I know I'm wealthy at whatever degree you consider wealthy, but I'm going to that next level. I'm going to plug in with these guys, these girls that are actually at a higher level to, than me because I'm growing to that level. And then I'm going to be able, with the people that I'm helping, I'm going to be able to turn around and help them more. So while most people say you should always be the least smartest or least wealthiest, I kind of challenge that a little bit. I think 80% of the time you should be in those rooms and then the other 20% you should be in the rooms where you're the smartest and the wealthiest in that room to give contrast, to be able to give back and to build your self-confidence and to show yourself how far you've came. A lot of people don't see it like that, but I've after doing this for a long time, I've seen the power because I've been in both rooms. I've been the most successful. I've been the smartest. Well, that might be a little bit scary <laughs> for some people. It's actually boosted my confidence and my drive to want to go out and create even more. And then I get it, that drives me to want to be in that room with the others 80% of the time where I'm not the smartest, I'm not the most successful. I get to study and learn from them so I can be able to change the way I think and the way I do things and my approaches so I can start shortening the gap from where I am to where I want to go and we start closing that gap. So I wanted to give you a different perspective on that. And look, here's the deal. Maybe you don't have a drive to become wealthier. Maybe you don't want to be the smartest person in the room. That's fine. This video and these videos are for people who, you know, we talk about master life by design, who want to upgrade the different categories of their life, their relationship, their business, their finance, their, their self-worth, their emotions, their spiritual connection, their finances. We want to be able to elevate all these different categories of our life. That's what master life by designs about is growing in all these areas so this video might be just for you it might be just what you needed to hear today because sometimes we can start to be separated from you know the people who have all this success and we wonder will I ever be there can I do it how long is it going to take and sometimes you just need that boost of confidence right it's like maybe you go to your mom or your dad at times in the past if they you know if they're still around even today maybe and they just say I'm so proud of you of how far you've came and you know you're not where you want to be but you just need to hear that sometimes well sometimes getting in the room and being the most successful the wealthiest the smartest is actually a good thing it's actually healthy for you Maybe not everyone will agree. I'd love to find out what you think in, your co in the comments below. Just comment, Joe, you're way off track. That's not how you become successful. You know what? I never thought of it like that. Leave a comment, okay? And look, here's the deal. I'm coming out with three videos every week in the area of business finance, relationships, personal development. So if you want to be able to plug into these videos, please click that subscribe button so you can be able to get notified. Actually, you need to turn on those notifications. So turn on the notifications, subscribe, share this if you find that someone could use this or you maybe know someone that's in this stage of life that actually can help them actually catapult their success, their wealth, their intelligence. And so they, how can they have that 80-20 rule come into play for them? So share this video. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in. Go out there and make today count. See ya.